you guys know you i mean i got stories for days you want to know what i'm talking about this is why i fucking hate alaska it's like get me out of here dude places that have like hard water like iron water actually ruins my hair just get a treatment thingy well i mean i had filters and all that but like when you when i was living in like a, a shitty 800 dollars a month type of apartment that's you know the down i can hear my downstairs people like yelling and screaming at their kids every day god i hated my neighbors but in my old place when i had bad landlords my landlords here are great by the way but my previous landlords like i'd be like hey can you change the filters and he would be like yeah yeah i got it and then like not do it and then he'd be like oh yeah i did it and be like no you didn't like fuck off and then i would tell him i was like hey just so you know like the downstairs neighbors are literally destroying your house like i see them like they'll walk in and out of their front window like they were extremely heavy set people and what they would do is they would open up their window and like roll in and i don't understand why they didn't just walk around and go in the door and then they would keep all their garbage stored inside like they would literally have their garbage stored like inside the fucking house for like a week and i remember one time i knocked on the door because like their dog got free and i was like hey like your dog or whatever and i opened up and it was just like i got hit with like a wave of just it just smelled like garbage there and you literally couldn't see the ground anywhere and i was just like bro like i know i can be messy but like what the fuck am i looking it was like an episode of the hoarders i told the landlord i'm like do you have any idea what's happening to your like your land here he's like well i actually live in like a different city i'm like okay well maybe you should like poke your head in literally once and he was like yeah and then later on he messaged me he was like yeah you're right like i actually saw it's like kind of bad i'm like yeah it is and terrible like what are you talking about it's kind of bad i'm like dude they're literally destroying your place they would just leave garbage like they would open their door for their car when they get home and garbage would just fall out it would just fall out and then they just close the door and then roll in through the front window and i was just like dude it wasn't good and then they would be screaming at their i i literally listened to their kid cry and it wasn't the kids fault he was just miserable i listened to the kids cry 10 hours a day they would sit there and just cry and cry and cry and cry and cry like my cat does. It was not like my cat that went outside. The kids were just miserable. And then I would hear after like four hours of crying, I'd hear like, SHUT UP! JUST SHUT UP! I was like, God, like what the fuck is wrong? I don't know. It's like, why have kids if you just hate them? You know what I mean? I'm like, what? They're on drugs, right? No, like the thing is you talk to them, they seem like perfectly nice people. Like it didn't seem like they were like these degenerates. It didn't seem that way. It was just like, I didn't... Like, they just lived in a way I could not live. You know what I mean? How do you mean going through the window? Like, they would use their front door, like, half the time. Like, they would step outside because they would need to deliver garbage or something because we had a dumpster outside. So, they didn't want to take the extra four steps around through their door. Maybe they couldn't open the door because there was garbage everywhere. But they would literally open their window because they were on the ground floor. And they would walk out through their front window. But, like, I actually liked the people. I talked to them. They seemed nice enough. But it was just... They just lived in a way that... I, I don't think I could do. But this is like cheap, shitty apartment housing in the middle of a, a crackhead neighborhood. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't it wasn't a ridiculously great spot. This is the last I'm place I lived, by the way. I finally moved out of there. That's why my previous videos actually had more editing than the one takes. Because I would literally have to edit out their, their, either their dog barking nonstop or their kids screaming. Like, and by screaming, I mean just like basically crying because his life sucked. Sounds like the east side. I've lived in Anchorage East Side. I've lived Anchorage East Side, bro. That shit is that shit was bad too. I, I was vacuuming for 20 minutes on the second story uh, apartment reno. And while I was vacuuming with my door open, somebody ran up my stairs, grabbed my bike, and by and, and pedaled away. I had just bought a specialized mountain bike. I've never owned another bicycle since, and I'm so pissed off because it was a nice expensive bike. It was like eleven hundred dollar mountain bike. It was a birthday present and I paid for half. My dad paid for half for birthday, and then I saved up and paid for the other half. And it was like a nice specialized mountain bike, 29 inch, I was super excited. I had, it's sitting on my porch, second story, up two flights of stairs. And um, I'm sitting there vacuuming with my door open. Dude runs up the stairs, grabs the bike, tosses it over, runs downstairs, hops on the bike and pedal away. And he left his piece of shit, uh, like, like BMX bike with no seat, you know, like as a thing. He just biked up, grabbed my bike and then just like pieced off. I was just like, all right, Anchorage is a shithole. Like, that's when I realized, like, this place fucking sucks, dude. I was just like, I can't believe I just saw that. Gotta be quicker than that. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, it was just, it was just, it's like, get me out of here, dude. Look up the, go look up the crime rate of Alaska. Just go look it up. Don't even take my word for it. Go look it up. Sounds trashy, bro. It's called Sledneck. Everyone here is a redneck, uh, except they, they talk like it's from the South. 
which is perfectly fine if you're actually from the south, but we're not. We're from the literal most north that, that in the most northwest place ever, and everyone pretends they're from the south. I'm talking cowboy hats, the whole fucking thing. Everyone's got a lifted fox truck, two door, that they had to spray paint black because the original paint was a piece of shit and they couldn't afford the real one anyway. So then they put in some piece of shit dirt bike in the back, even in the winter, just so you know they own a dirt bike. It's like, bro, like, I, I hate everything about here. Like, I just hate everything about here. It's the worst goddamn place. And, like, here's the thing. You remove all the people from the place, the place is fine. The, pay, the place is fine. You add the people in, Alaska's ruined. Like, it's, it's just terrible, dude. Get me out. That's everywhere, to be honest. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You know, it, I could be delusional because I've never lived anywhere else. You know what I mean? Like, it could, it, it could literally be this way everywhere. I get it. It could be. You know, I could, I, I could go anywhere else, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hate it there too. Probably, it's probably a me problem. I get that, but it's like, it's the problem that I have with this place is I've lived here so long that I've seen everything already, so I've already min maxed it. I've already had all the good shit. You know what I mean? I've done all the good shit, and now all I see is the negatives. Capture Alaska Renown. Bingo. Exactly right. And to be fair, I'm going a little bit over the top. It's actually not as bad as I'm making it sound. I, it's just the the vibe here doesn't match my vibe. I'm going to put it that way, okay? How many days you go without sunlight? Uh, like a year because I don't go outside. And I'm probably being a little harsh because I'm seeing you're thinking like, I went to the bar the other day and I met like three people. I had three different conversations and all of those conversations were enjoyable and all of the people there I liked. You know what I mean? Like, I'm probably over the top about it, and it's probably unfair. I, 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 meet, I meet fun people all the time. I think I'm just burned out of here, is all it really is. You need a partner? Uh, it's going to be difficult to, to uh, have a relationship that understands my work schedule. Because my work schedule is every single day, all day. So, it doesn't leave a lot of time for other people. Which is a pretty selfish thing to ask of a partner to allow me to do. So, whatever relationship I pursue is going to have to be one with somebody that is cool with that. Because to be honest, I'm doing exactly what I want to do with my life. And uh, maybe it's selfish, but I don't really want to do things I don't want to do with my life. I, I want to do exactly what I want to do. And what I want to do is literally what I'm doing right now. And I want to pursue this. I love streaming. I like doing this every day. That's why I do it every day, you know? And I'm kind of, a, I'm kind of in my stage of life of being like unapologetic about what I want to do with my life. I, you know, like, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's wrong to, like, I don't have people relying on me, so I don't really think it's wrong for me to want to pursue what I want to do with my life. And I don't really think it's wrong to, like, be unapologetic about it and just be like, this is what I want to do, this is who I am, this is who I want. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, to be honest, I've never really felt that way. I've always, like, kind of been an insecure guy, you know, kind of worrying about stuff all the time. And, uh, like I was saying in my video about being sick of my own negativity, I was also kind of just sick of a lot of the problems. I got to a point in life where I was just, like, I was just tired of all the problems I had had, like always worrying, always being like pissed about stuff. Like I just got, I just got tired of it all. And I don't know exactly the day it happened, but at some point I was just like, I'm done. Like I'm done. It's fight or flight shit. Like I'm done like being depressed about life and having problems. And I went through the work and I did therapy and meds and all the shit that you're supposed to do I'm as an adult, you know, but I got, I don't do any of that stuff anymore. But I got to a point where it was like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just done like having problems like i decide no longer to have them and i know that's not the way it works like you can't just decide not to have problems but it was just i i just gave up allowing my life to be shit. i don't know how to explain it but it's like i'm i'm only going to do what i want to do and if i starve to death doing it so fucking be it i don't know maybe that maybe uh, it doesn't make any sense that I'm, I'm just over trying to live a life that i don't enjoy i think is probably the way to explain it